everyone i hope you're all doing really well and thank you so much for joining me for this vlog so i just started getting ready this morning well all i done is like shower and put my base makeup on i thought i haven't got ready in a vlog in ages i thought i'd show you how i do my bun i mean look at look at the hair um so i just thought i'd get ready with you this morning first of all i'm gonna do my hair let's sort this out and i can't oh actually before we sort my hair out if i sound weird it's because i'm, I'm recovering from covid i had it really bad last week it is wednesday today and I'm, I'm feeling a lot better than, Betty? Better. Feeling a lot better than last week, but I'm just, I'm still feeling quite rough and I sound rough and the, the lingering symptoms are, I've got really like blocked ears, um, I've got a sore throat and I just feel all like, you know, like nasally and ugh. It just reminds me of smelly cat. <laughs> if you know, you know. I'm at home today, um, I've got some shooting, filming to do, I'm waiting for a delivery for something that needs to be shot today um, for a campaign that's going live next week, so I'm just really hoping that arrives today. Um, anyway, let's do the hair. So I am so grateful and so pleased that these slick back buns are a thing, and I'm also glad that my hair's a bit longer at the minute so I can fully participate in this lazy girl hairstyle because I've got unbelievably lazy with my hair. Like, I normally wash it twice a week, and last week, I only washed it once a week. Like, it was so greasy. I just, I don't know what it is. Is it the cold? I just, like, I just can't be bothered to get ready. Like, I'm not taking any pride in my appearance at the minute. I don't know, I just, I just wanna sit in pajamas indoors all day. I'm just cold and tired, probably because of an ill. Anyway, it's just literally a bun, so I won't go, you know, I won't bore you with it, but, few little tips I've learned along the way is that it's better on dirty hair to get that like grip and if you don't have dirty hair if you have clean hair you could just put some oil in there like the Moroccan oil I see a lot of people using that and also I've got this which is the way matte pomade and this is really nice as well when my hair's greasy I don't need to use it and I've only used like the tiniest amount because you literally need the like littlest bit my hair's greasy and it's got enough grip in it so it's we're all okay today so i just use like a gentle brush on it this is actually a wet brush hair bands i use a mixture of the beauty pie silk scrunchies and the slip silk scrunchies but i just like to use the silk ones on my hair now to just prevent any snapping of my hair i have ordered a smaller bristle brush my brain just can't say those words together. It's on its way from Amazon. At the moment I'm using this and it, it works. It's just that it's so big. And I just think having these, whoops, these uh, bristles, they really just smooth the hair down. So I feel like that is the kind of brush you need. Um, you obviously don't need a massive one like this. Anyway, the only thing I'm not loving is where my hair is so grown out. It just makes my roots look like 10 times worse but anyway a ponytail with the first one and then just take another one and literally just twist it around and then if you've got any little flyaways this is from um schwarzkopf got to be i think there's like three or four pounds or something you can use it on your brows and you can use it on these little flyaways i mean i don't have any flyaways today because my hair is so greasy oh, there's a few little bits here but it's literally slicks everything down and now I look like an egg what I've got on my skin already is this the beautiful skin foundation and I'm wearing five neutral I've recently bought this it's the Charlotte Tilbury it's the new oh beautiful skin radiant concealer I got the shade four fair because I like a bright under eye I like yeah it's quite light under my eyes now this is quite I'm gonna say that it's it's thick but it's not cakey and it really does brighten so I don't like to use too much like that is plenty damp beauty blender just blending in and then I also just go over the foundation to make sure there's no brush marks oh my god I've got <laughs> I've got a roller on my sleeve oh this is the chanel bronzer and this is like the universal that the original shade i think it's 390 yeah 390 soleil tan Br bronze universal I use this all year round i can't really remember the last time i used a powder bronzer i just love using 
the cream one. So one of my friends is a makeup artist and she actually told me I should do my brows before doing anything else but I keep forgetting because I normally do my brows as like one of the last things on my face. So I'm now just gonna do them. Um, I'm using this, the Anastasia Beverly Hills and it's the brow freeze. It's amazing, it really is. So I use um, like a spoolie, don't look too close, this is gross, I've been using it for a while. I've ready to get a new one. Um, and then you just like dip it in there um, and I just brush it in like backwards to really like work it in and bear in mind like, I haven't had my eyebrows laminated for like a while like I'm due to have them done um but this just sticks them up so well I definitely need to get a new spoolie because this one is rank but because it is uh wax yeah it's like a like a sticky wax you do need to like wash your brows super thoroughly like when you take off your makeup like make sure you're getting your cleanser in the brow so i'm actually going to speed this up but i will um link all of the products that i am using down below This mascara is amazing. I've just got a little sample of it, but it's so good. It's the Hourglass Unlocked. Look how good that is. I'm definitely gonna buy the full size when this little one runs out. I've just uh, put this on. It's the Beauty Pie. Wonder Gloss Collagen Lip Oil. I absolutely love this. This is my second one. I completely like emptied out the first one. It's so moisturizing. It doesn't feel sticky at all. It's a lip oil, not a gloss, but it gives like a really nice color. And, and then I also set my makeup with the Charlotte Tilbury Setting Spray. I'm coming to the end of this and I might try a new one next. So let me know any setting spray recommendations. So that is like kind of everyday autumn makeup for now. Hello. Hi. I am ready to film now, um, but I've just had a delivery and I wanted to show you because it's so beautiful. It's from Hourglass. I just love their products so much. And do you remember the ambient lighting powder palette? I was absolutely obsessed with them and I'd use it every day. Um, I still love them. I think it's just because I wear like less powder products now. I wear more creamy products, but they're still unbelievable. So um, it's the first artist collaboration with London-based illustrator Katie Scott um, and it's limited edition collection um, in the celebration of the natural world. So that's the unlocked. Look at those colours. And then this one, Beautiful Butterfly, has got these colours. And these are, um, they're light reflecting pigments in the powder. So they give your skin such a gorgeous gorgeous glow so these are the two colors they're both so beautiful and then i've also got the hourglass now these have gone like viral online they're the phantom volumizing glossy bar and i haven't tried them yet and i am so excited to try them they have had like the most amazing reviews and they keep selling out that noise this is the duo of rouge and slip I'm gonna have a little go with the lighter color. Because they are sheer, obviously that looks quite dark, but I know that it won't come out like that. So I'm gonna use slip. Oh, oh my God, that just glides on like, like butter. That color, oh my God, the color. Okay, I can see why everyone is obsessed. That feels so nice and the color is gorgeous i'm loving that i will link these below and if they're in stock you have to get one i'm all set up here ready to go um to film my next youtube video but this is a 20 piece autumn winter capsule wardrobe built up of loads of those basics and so many pieces that you can like mix and match or make so many different outfits with um so i mean i've wanted to film this for ages but i was on holiday and then i was ill and now i'm just getting around to doing it now Happy Friday everyone. This is the current state of our landing because 
we are fitting a new loft hatch. Our loft hatch before was just like really hard to use, I couldn't get it down, so we're fitting a much more like user friendly one. So Tom is doing that, he's actually just popped out to get some bits, there's, there's lots of mess everywhere, but this will be such a good job done, we've wanted to like do this for ages. But as you can see there'll be lots of filling and uh, repainting to do after this. This has got to go up. Better. I'm just about to have a shower and get ready because I'm going to film some content and then tonight I am heading out for dinner with my friend in London so I'm just popping you on the tripod. Also it's so cold in our house I've just made a cup of tea to warm up because I'm not putting the heating on yet. Yeah I'm going out for dinner tonight. I hardly ever go out for dinner on a Friday night and in London. Like who, who, who is that? That's me today, it's never me, so I'm going to, yeah, I'm really looking forward to our meeting a friend. We're going to the IV Asia, I love the IV, um, but we are going to try the Asia one, it's kind of like just behind Bond Street, I think. My face is looking quite tanned this morning, and it's because I used this, the Bear by Vogue, um, the face tanning serum, I absolutely love that. Oh, also, I had my nails done this morning, I had a bio sculpture done which I've never had before, but I've been hearing lots of good things, so I went for it, and I've gone for more of a darker autumnal colour, and they are just so neat. I love them. Oh, look, oh, I've actually beaten them. Oh, boiling over. Hi, everyone. Um, It is Sunday now today, so excuse this, because I'm just having like a no makeup day at home and it feels good. But yeah, I have actually forgot to pick up the vlogging camera for the last few days. So Friday night I went out for dinner with my friend and we went to the Ivy Asia in Mayfair. I never go out for fancy dinners. It was so nice. We had a really nice evening, really good food. I'll pop some photos in of the food. We had, it was so nice. Had a few cocktails, really nice. And then yesterday Tom and I went back into London because Tom wanted to get some new clothes and Whenever he orders online, he orders about three sizes of everything, especially trousers. Um, so he just said, can we just go into London so I can have like a big old try on? So yesterday I was basically personal assistant to Tom, just like waiting outside changing rooms, getting different sizes, holding the bags. I, um, we spent most of the day in London and so we had a really busy day yesterday. So this morning I've edited my next YouTube video. So that is going live tonight and that is my capsule wardrobe, autumn capsule wardrobe that you saw me filming earlier in the week so that is live now. I've been to Tesco to do the food shop, I've done about five loads of washer which is out on the line because it's a nice sunny Sunday and I've now got a roast dinner on the go. I've not got, I've got roast chicken in the oven, then I'm going to do roasted potatoes, carrots, broccoli, We've got parsnips and swede and Yorkshire pudding. So on Friday I left the house in such a mess and like I just haven't had a minute to like tidy up yet. So now while the dinner is cooking I'm gonna tidy up. While we're in Tesco's I wanted to pick up something because I knew after the roast dinner I was gonna like want a little pudding and I went down the Christmas aisle and it was like full like full flow in Christmas and I saw these like I love Terry's chocolate orange and I love white chocolate. I have had this before and it's delicious it is quite sweet so if you like sweet things but oh my god it's oh, i'm not going to open it yet i'm going to wait until after dinner this is the mess that i left myself and so this is what we're going to tackle now it's been raining for days now been running like a child I bought a few new bits, this is nothing exciting, um, we needed a new fitted sheet, but we got a mattress topper and now the, the fitted sheet keeps like riding off, so I got a deep fitted sheet um, and I got a nice like high thread count, I just love having nice bedding and dusk is really good for that, I always like to wash it before I put it on, so put that in the washing pile. I also bought some new walking boots because the ones that I've got at the minute are too small and they, um, when we climbed Snowdon, my toes like pushed into them and they were really painful. I've actually ordered two different pairs to try on and see what I like, these are from Hunter, I do, I really like these. They've got like nice sole. The only thing that I'm thinking is like around here, this fabric, that is gonna get filthy, isn't it? And these are the other walking boots. I need to like properly try them on and like walk around the house 
and see which are the most comfortable. But these are from a brand called Sorel, which I have heard of before. These ones are all black. I like the bottom, that's quite cool, isn't it? I think they were like roughly the same price. Um, they're both insulated and waterproof, so your feet will stay warm and dry, which is the main thing because it's horrible walking when you've got like cold and wet feet. Me and my mum are actually going away for a couple of days um, tomorrow, just in the UK, but we are going on like a bit of a look, like we're gonna be doing walks and stuff, so I really wanted to take my new boots with me, so I need to decide which ones I'm gonna keep, so I'm gonna try them both on. I'm going to have to walk around the house in both of them, aren't I, to like see which ones. I feel like the black, because they're black, they're more, like they are more practical. I guess they're not going to show up as much like mud, but then I do really like the like two-tone of these ones. I bought Betty. <laughs> bang the camera. Yesterday in our shopping trip, um, I purchased two things, both from our cat actually, well, not two, uh, six things actually, it'll make sense in a minute. First of all, I got this jumper, which I've had my eye on for ages online. I didn't order it online because their current delivery is like 11 to 14 days and I was being very impatient. So I wanted to get it in store, plus it's sold out online in a size small. It's a really nice oversized knit. Um, I've got lots of like high neck and roll neck jumpers, but I didn't have many like crew necks like like this um, I got a size small it was 79 pounds I think really soft and cozy Bertie obviously approves of it I will leave that link down below and then the other bits that I purchased the other five things were socks um, they had this like amazing sock wall with so many different colored socks and it was five he just made himself at home on it it was five for four, so I bought five pairs of socks. They're really nice quality, and it's just nice to have nice socks, isn't it? Like, I've got my little everyday Primark socks, but when I'm, when, like, my socks are on show with outfits, it's nice to have, like, a nice clean pair. Roast dinner is ready. I went a bit overboard on the gravy, and it was too thick, but the rest of it looks amazing. <laughs> Look, I've literally got the biggest plate full. I love roast potatoes. They came out so good. I do ten minute parboil, and then... 45 minutes in the oven with lots of herbs, salt and pepper. Good morning, everyone. It is Monday morning. Oh, I've got a hair. Do you ever get that? Oh, where is it? Like a hair on your face and it's like really tickly. So as I said yesterday, my mum and I are heading away for a couple of days and we're going down to a place in Kent called Cabo by the sea and it looks so nice it's like little cabins by the sea Bertie's coming with us um so I'm just about to leave I'm gonna go and pick my mum up and then we're gonna head down so I thought I'd quickly show you a little travel outfit the whole vibe of this trip I've gone super like cozy and comfortable there's there's not a blazer in sight <laughs> it's all jumpers and cozy things I've got a tracksuit on I've actually re recently ordered this I just wanted like a nice tracksuit and it's just from new look but it's actually really nice um like the quality is really nice it's super soft it's like the perfect color it's really nice actually i'm wearing a size 10 in the bottoms i've just rolled the bottoms up because they were a bit long like they are actually like i'm five foot four they're like quite high up here and um, a size small in the hoodie and then i've got my h&m quilted jacket over the top and then i've got my um new balance 327 trainers on so i'm just gonna load up the car now and then be on the way we're all checked into cabo now here's our lovely bedroom and um we're in a like one bedroom cabin so we've got this bedroom here and then there's a living room bathroom and kitchen there are 20 cabins on site um and then the beach is literally like just along there there's an open um like an outdoor swimming pool um hot tub and sauna which we're gonna go in later and it's so nice i'll show you more of it over the next few days just unpacking and thought i'd show you what i packed um i've packed like really warm thick heavy things and it's quite mild and i'm wearing that tracksuit i showed you earlier and i'm boiling um so i got this is the jumper that i got from arquette uh, the other day that i showed you this is h&m this um that's the back of it this is the front, just like a half zipper teddy jacket. It's from LPA, which I got on Revolve. And then this lovely knitted jumper is from H&M. Oh, and I've got this little tracksuit here as well. This is from uh, What the Brand. It's a really nice colour, so I'll probably wear that as well. And then over here, 
This is my unit and this is mum's. I've packed Uggs, Birkenstocks. These are actually my slippers. Some Converse, I've got my New Balance as well. I've got a couple of pairs of leggings, woolly hat, and then I've just put my other little bits and bobs in there. We are just heading over to the like communal area. I think they call it a situthery. Something like that because we're gonna cook our pizza and um, they've got a little shop I can't remember if I said that earlier but they've got a little shop and they sell pizzas and they've got a pizza oven so we're gonna go and cook a pizza my face looks the strangest color ever but there is our little hut just there that's ours and the sky I don't know if it's gonna show up on camera it's so beautiful it is so pink what is my mum what does she <laughs> what does she want yes oh yeah keys need to lock up mum's facetime and grandma um we are in the outside area now so they've got like lots of outside seating and like big um games and stuff come on but i've got the heaters on which is so nice and there's this big kitchen over here that like anyone can come and use they've got barbecue um nice big kitchen and then there's a pizza oven and our pizza is in there and then we're gonna sit here and eat it and then go in the hot tub. Mm -hmm. 